this is basically what we are given, um, is this model piece. Um, and although it looks like we've got so many books, um, with over 300 made, they all pretty much disappear into these bookcases. So it's a huge undertaking. Here we have the leading character of Tabaro, and as you can see, it's kind of like this lovely kind of grungy, sepia-toned 1930s look to it. They'll all be uh, really heavily broken down, and when you actually see it on stage, they will all have been treated with dye in, to some extent, so that it all does look like it. you're looking at a, a sepia photograph. These pieces are part of the huge stair truck for Sarah Angelica. Uh, I think I've totted up that there are 33 separate pieces that go together to form the three-ton truck. Puccini's last completed opera, it was written uh, as a triptych, very rarely done as all three pieces. Any one of the three could be a full opera, so we are effectively doing three times the production that we would necessarily normally do. One of the biggest challenges for us is going to be the changing between any two of these three massive operas has to be done so quickly and so slickly. We have to work very closely with the stage department. They've got to tell us what is achievable in that time. At the same time, looking like something that you might be happy to have in your own home. The audience are not that far away, um, so it's got to look right for them and it's got to feel right for the singers as well, so they feel that they're in that environment. We work to film standards, even if you don't immediately see the details from the stage, there's just something about a costume that's made properly and then when you get the performer enjoying wearing it, um, it's even better. The whole thing is a big collaboration. It's not just about a designer um, drawing a picture or the designer and the director coming up with a concept. It's everybody working together. So I will take things from the fitting and that will then feed into how the costume is made, how it's finished, how it fits. It's also about what they're doing with it on stage. They might be turning a cartwheel in this. I doubt it very much with the fact that they're nuns, but they might have to jump over a box especially with David McVicker, then, you know, he's actually quite active with his direction. We've got to actually tell the story of the piece through the costume as much as the direction is, as much as the props do. It's all part of it, basically. It's just about the magnitude, I guess, of this performance. It's going to be a potentially four and a half hour experience for the audience. Um, they're going to see three completely separate operas in one night. And I think for the audience, that's going to be exciting. For us, it's going to be like, yeah, that was a job well done. We have an expression backstage. I think it's a fairly well-known theatre expression that uh, the impossible we can do, miracles take a little bit longer. And I think maybe <laughs> Tritico is going to need a little bit of a miracle. We've been working on it little bits here, little bits there, and so desperate to get it on stage. But I think it's probably one of the first shows I've ever worked on that I actually can't imagine it on stage. It's so huge and such an undertaking. I think it won't be till that opening night where I go, oh my goodness, it's actually on stage and incredibly impressive, you know, the amount of craft and art that's on that stage, making a wonderful night for people.